Hey everyone, it's Janet over at the 4-H office. Just wanted to check in, say hi, hope all is going well and you're all doing well. Today's project is how to make a jigsaw puzzle. Um, real easy to do, real great for gift giving. Also, if you are looking for some de-stressors or some extra activities to do that aren't online learning, which is what I'm doing a whole lot of right now, um, it's a great activity to put together a jigsaw puzzle. So for today's activity, what you will need are one or two of your favorite photos, or if you made some of our scribble art last week, you can use those as well. You can print them any size. I have the standard eight and a half by 11. I also have eight by 14 pictures um, that I've taken. This is a great opportunity to use some of your photography skills, either gardening photography, or if you have some photos of your favorite cows, horses, pigs, sheep, goats, chickens, whatever you have, or make it extra special, picture of mom and dad. Into our pictures, we're going to need some lightweight cardboard, either from a cereal box or this is from a package of 10 by 13 envelopes that I had here at the office. You're also going to need the puzzle pattern, which I will upload to the Facebook along with this um, video. You will need a pair of scissors, a ruler, and either liquid glue or a glue stick. I'm not going to lie to you. I use the liquid glue. I wanted to create a puzzle ahead of time. My glue still isn't dry. I got a little carried away with the glue. Um, I also made one earlier this morning, a smaller one, and I don't know if you can see, but the glue is actually quite wet still. So I'm recommending a glue stick, and for this video, we will use a glue stick. You will also need a very heavy, heavy notebook to use as a weight to keep our cardboard, our jigsaw puzzle from rolling up while it's drying. To get started on this project, what you need to do is choose your picture. Um, you can play with the sizes on your printer, on your print dialog box as you go to print out your pictures. You can do the same for the puzzle piece pattern as it is a JPEG. So I am actually just going to make a standard size um, puzzle today. I'm going to use this picture of some columbines. And what I'm going to do is take my cardboard, figure out the best way to position my picture. Um, it's up to you if you want to leave the white borders on or if you want to take those off. So once I figure out where to place my picture, I am going to flip my picture over and use the glue stick. Making sure I get all surfaces of my project because when we cut our pieces out, we're going to be cutting all over and we can't just count on the corners being glued here to keep our puzzle together. Now if you were really really super skilled and had a jigsaw you could also make a jigsaw puzzle out of wood and use your jigsaw to cut the pieces out. Now as I'm preparing my picture do you have to use the pattern piece template? Um, the jigsaw puzzle template? No, you don't. You could actually draw on your own pieces, just making sure that everything was interlocking. So once I have my picture glued, I'm going to lay it on my cardboard. I'm actually using the edges of the cardboard to keep everything straight and lined up. And as you can see, I didn't get quite enough glue on this lower edge. It is lifting a little bit, so I'm just going to grab some more glue stick. This is one of those projects I wish I could use a hot glue gun for. All right. Now, you can either use your fingers or that ruler to smooth out all of the air bubbles. We want our picture to be laying flat. To use the ruler, you're just going to gently but firmly go straight across your whole picture. This also helps smooth out the glue, especially if you're using liquid Elmer's glue or any other type of, of white glue. You'll quickly see which edges you caught and which ones you didn't. There we go. So once we have our photo 
on our cardboard. We're going to flip it over. Now we want to make sure we use the right size puzzle piece pattern. Make sure we've printed them out the same size. Um, and we're actually going to trim this one up and then we are going to glue it onto our cardboard. Now using the glue stick, we haven't used quite as much glue. Our paper isn't as wet. It probably won't roll quite as bad, but if you wanna give it an hour or two to dry, um, please do so. Making sure that it is weighted down just so that everything dries flat. Also, if you're a clover bud or not quite sure on um, cutting all the pieces out yourself, please make sure you ask an older teen or an adult to help you. Um, as you can see on our puzzle, we do have a lot of curved interlocking pieces to be cut out. So, my picture is obviously a bit bigger than my puzzle. It's just the way that I didn't print it out properly, so a good lesson here. I'm actually going to center my puzzle pieces where my design is. And I'm going to do that on the back side and just run my glue stick all over the paper again. Once these are done drying for an hour or two with a glue stick, um, you can start cutting. We want to make sure that our lines are pretty clean cut because puzzles, jigsaw puzzles are interlocking. Again, just to check to see where my design is. And I'm just going to lay my puzzle piece pattern on the back. Again, if you wanted to, you could either use the pattern or if you wanted, use a thin Sharpie or a pencil to draw your lines on to get your interlocking pieces. Once this is dry, you're going to just start cutting everything apart. And our final step when you're done is to have a Ziploc bag handy that you could label which puzzle it is and put all your pieces in here so that you don't lose them. Again, this is a great activity to use some of your photography skills, um, to recycle some of our cardboard, and to make some really nice gifts for friends and family. I hope you're all doing really well. If you need anything, give a shout out to Shenango County 4-H. In addition to Facebook, you can find these videos on our YouTube page. Just search for Shenango County 4-H. Have a great day and we'll see you soon.